celebrity edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Now, all week long, our contestants are WWE superstars. And kids, before we meet your new classmate, let's take a look at him in the ring at WWE Raw. I'd certainly be scared of him in the Battle Royal. World's largest athlete. Send it Cena flying. It's Triple H flying. You know what's called when you're scared of Johnny? What? P5 phobia. Well, the gargantuan have right now. This guy would end up being a WWE wrestler. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure somebody's told you this before. You're you're kind of a big guy. No. Now, what size shoe? An 18-6-E. 18-6-E. Yeah, so I basically can walk in the snow without snowshoes. <laughs> my fishing boat is an 18-6-E. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think that's my old tennis shoe. <laughs> well, WWE superstars are playing for charity all week long. Tell everybody about the charity you're playing for. Well, today. um, of course, uh, I'm playing for the USO. Awesome, man. Uh, yeah, give it up. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the United States of America. I love our country, and I'm very proud of our veterans. And uh, I've gone every year to uh, every Christmas to Afghanistan and, and Iraq to visit our troops and do shows for them. And I just thought that uh, anything I can give back to our country, I'm, I'm going to do. Absolutely. So. Thank you, man. That's great. They do great stuff. Yes, they do. Great stuff. These are your new classmates. Let me introduce them to you. Okay. You have Kamani, Kamani. Taylor, Hi, Taylor, and Kevin. Yeah. All right, big sir, pick one of them. Let's get started. Uh, let's pick Taylor to start with. Come on over, Taylor. Taylor. Don't you wish you had that much energy? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. How are you? You want to see a fun thing? Hold your hand up next yeah. to me. There you go. Oh. Wow, that's crazy. But, but you there know you what? Go. I think you guys are going to make a good team. Yeah. I think so. All right, man. Let's and do I, this. here's what else I think. I think we're going to make some money for the USO today. There you go. Let me tell you how this is going to work. You're going to take a little test with us. It's 10 questions. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. First grade questions worth $500. Fifth grade questions are worth $5,000. We get finished with this. I've got a bonus question that can multiply your winnings times 10. You could leave today winning $250,000. All right. Let's find out. Is Big Show smarter than a fifth grader? No pressure, right? No pressure. Ten subjects up there. If you had to help him with one, what would you recommend? I would recommend fifth grade U.S. history. Fifth grade U.S. history, but it's up to you, show. Fifth grade U.S. Fifth grade history. Fifth grade U.S. history. All right. To the show. Still still I feel good about it. High five. There, there we go. go. All right. Fifth grade U.S. history. It's worth five thousand dollars. Here's the question: Who was the second vice president of the United States? Who was the second vice president of the United States? Taylor has locked in her answer. I think I'm going to use one of my cheats just to get started sure. and get going. Sure. Well, they're fifth grade questions. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, fifth grade questions scare me. I, I wear spandex for a living, okay? <laughs> um, let's do the peak. You want a peak? You want to uh, lock that in, do the peak? Okay, yeah, I'll do the peak. Ready? They said to slam this thing really hard, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to pick. The question is, who was the second vice president of the United States? This fifth grader said, she said, Thomas Jefferson. How does that feel? I'm going to go with her. You want to lock sure. that in? Yes, I will. Whew. Okay, no pressure here. Thomas Jefferson. Big show. The second vice president of the United States was actually... Thomas Jefferson! Yeah. All right. Nine subjects on the board. Where would you like to...
to go next, show. Fifth grade measurements. Fifth grade measurements, is that okay? Yeah. All right. Fifth grade measurement. You can double that 5,000 with a correct answer. Here's the question. How many micrometers are in one centimeter? How many micrometers are in one centimeter? Taylor has locked in her answer. One centimeter, I'm going to say that there are 10 micrometers in one centimeter. Lock that in? I'm not real confident in anything. <laughs> OK, I'm going to lock it in. Locking it in. All right. How many micrometers in one centimeter? Your logic was right. It's okay. just a little short. Ooh. There are actually 10,000 micrometers. There it is. One meter is one million micrometers. 100 yeah. centimeters is one meter. One million divided by 100 is 10,000 micrometers. Ooh. All right, so if Taylor said 10,000, you've got $10,000. If she said anything else, we're back to zero. Oh. Take a look at the board. Taylor said seven. Oh. Look at this face. You can't even get mad at her. Absolutely That's not. all right. That's okay. all right. We're good. Let's make a comeback. We'll make yeah, we'll make some back. I like that idea. Let's make some back. Eight subjects up there. What would you like next? Fourth grade life science. Fourth grade life science. Life science. Life science. Gets all right. Get this one right. We have $3,500 for the USO. Here's the question. Tropical rainforests have four basic layers of trees. Which of these is not a layer in a tropical rainforest? Canopy, nimbus, understory. Tropical rainforests have four basic layers of trees. Which of these is not a layer in a tropical rainforest? Canopy, nimbus, or understory? Taylor has locked in her answer. Kind of fast, too, didn't she? Yeah. OK, uh, I'm going to go with nimbus. You know, lock that in? Yes. Wow, man, you, you really put the pressure on that lock there. When you said lock it in, it's final. It's permanent. But do not put a knockout punch on me, please. I won't do that. I like okay. you a lot. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. OK. Nimbus, B. Nimbus. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what your 10-year-old classmate Taylor said. She said nimbus. Ooh, that makes me feel a lot better. She can't save you. No. She doesn't have to. You're both right. <laughs> All right. $3,500. We still got a shot at $150,000. Don't go away. Right. We'll be right back. edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. This week, we have the WWE superstars playing for charity. Today, it is Big Show. We still have 11500 on the board, so pick a new classmate. Let's go get some money. I feel so bad just picking one. Come on, come on over here, bro. Come on over here. Seven, you're nuts, bro. I swear. Come on, say hello to Big Show. How are you doing, sir? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Well, thank you. There's seven subjects on the board, Kamani. Where would you recommend show goes next? Anatomy. Anatomy, he says. Wow, he spit that out pretty quick, didn't he? OK, you know what? Going with the kids is the best way to go, right? Yes, indeed. Fourth grade anatomy, Fourth grade please. anatomy. All right, here we go. Show get it right. We can double that $3,500. Here's the fourth grade question. In the human eye, what five-layered membrane is located in front of the iris? In the human eye, what five-layered membrane is located in front of the iris? Kamani's locked in his answer. Uh, I think that's a cornea, isn't it? OK, we'll go for it. I'm going to lock in cornea. Cornea. Kamani also said cornea. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Yeah. What? Taylor also said cornea. Kevin what? also said cornea. Everybody in the classroom is right. It is cornea. <laughs> First, second, and third. I might stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You still have two of your cheats left. Kamani, where do you think we should go next? Well, I, I really love science, so uh, this one I really don't have a preference. Okay, physical science or animal science? Let's go third grade physical science. Third grade physical science, all right. Third grade physical science, the question is this. True or false, if an object has negative buoyancy, it will float in the water. True or false, if an object has negative buoyancy, it will float in the water. Kamani has locked in his answer. I'm going to say that if an object has negative buoyancy, it will float in water. I'm going to say that's false. I'm going to lock in my answer for false. False. Yeah. Show. Yeah. Oh, no, Big Show. I did it, didn't I? You're absolutely right, <laughs> you! Yes! You knew what that was? Now, Kamani said he liked all the sciences, but it's up to you. Where would you like to go next? Third grade animal science. Third grade you love animal animals. science. All right. The third grade animal science question is this. In terms of average size, what species is the largest living member of the lizard family? In terms of average size, what species is the largest living member of the lizard family? I will give you a clue. It's not these pythons right here. It's like an arm, only smaller. <laughs> Kamani's locked in his answer. Yeah, God, I like that. I like the Komodo dragon. I'm pretty sure that's the largest lizard. And that, that's my answer is the, the Komodo dragon. OK. I'm, OK. I hate pushing like that. All right. Take a look at the board, because I, I think we do have a, a, a picture of the largest lizard. Ah. And that is the Komodo dragon. <laughs> from the WWE in the classroom with us today. He's playing for the USO, and you've accumulated $12,000. We still have two of your sheets. You've got a copy and a save. And we are down to the first and second grade questions. We've got Kevin up here to help you now. All right, Kevin, we want to win money for the USO. Four subjects up there. Which one would you tell Show to go with next? Um, second grade spelling. Second grade spelling. My phone spells everything for me, so this ought to be good. Uh, yeah, second grade well, spelling. Well, we got some help for you. Right. We got some help. Here's the second grade spelling question. How many vowels appear in the following phrase? Cobra, smash, slam. How many vowels appear in the phrase Cobra, smash, slam? Kevin's locked in his answer. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. All right, I'm going to say four. I'm locking in my answer. Locking in four. Take a look at the board. Cobra, C-O-B-R-A-S-M-A-S-H-S-L-A-M. That's four. You're right. Yeah. Second grade grammar. Second grade grammar, you like that? Yeah. All right, here is the second grade grammar question. When paired with a helping verb like have or has, the word go turns into what word in the past tense? When paired with a helping verb like have or has, the word go turns into what word in the past tense? Kevin's locked in his answer. Okay, I'm gonna go with gone. I still have a save, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, I'm gonna go with gone. Gone. The word go turns into past tense is gone. Going gone. Gone. All right. Well, this is tough, man. <laughs> the correct answer is gone. You're right. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Look at this. We're down to the first grade question. Kevin, world geography or vocabulary? Um, vocabulary. Vocabulary. Okay. Vocabulary it is. Vocabulary it is. All right. Can't go wrong with some of the kids. making a pretty good tag team here. Yeah, we are. First grade vocabulary. It's worth $500. The question is this. True or false? 
A male whale is called a bull. True or false? A male whale is called a bull. Kevin has locked in his answer. A male whale is called a bull. I'm going to say true. True. <laughs> Taylor, what did you say? I said true. Kamani, what did you say? False. Just kidding, I said true. Ah, he's got sense of humor. He's messing with you. Yeah. Kevin said true. True's all around. I'm true it is. You're yeah. right. Smarter than a fifth grader all week long. The WWE superstars are playing for charity today. Big Show is here playing for the USA. Yes, I am. Awesome. I have five hundred dollars remaining on the board. Okay. You get it right, your total is up to fifteen thousand. The first grade world geography question is this: If Kevin plans on visiting the three tallest mountains in the world, what continent will he be visiting? If Kevin plans on visiting the three tallest mountains in the world, what continent will he be visiting? He's locked in his answer. I'm just going to take a stab at it and do the most. I'm just going to stay Asia. Okay. Biggest continent, right? Going to lock that in? Asia, yep. Asia. <laughs> You're right, it is in Asia. There we go. All right. Kevin, you got to return to the classroom. Nice job. Thanks, Kevin. Awesome job, bro. Good job. All right, show. Let's talk about where we're at. You've got $15,000 for the USA. I have a bonus question, which can multiply your winnings times 10. We could turn that $15,000 into $150,000. Now, bonus questions are always fifth grade questions. Let's review what we did in the fifth grade today. <laughs> Do we have to? Uh, oh, for two. Yeah. And you have no classmates to help you on the bonus question. Let me show you the subject, and then we'll decide what you want to do. All right. The subject of today's bonus question is this. Social studies. Mm. Take the money! <laughs> you know I love the ducks? All three of the kids that have just worked with me, well, you better take the money. <laughs> I, uh, in all sincerity, after, you know, seeing a lot of stuff that our men and women go through, that is a, a great amount that will help the USO and support their cause. Uh, I'm, I'm not even beginning to be arrogant enough to gamble with that. You want to drop out of school? Yes, sir. Hit that button, make it official. $15,000 for the USO. What a pleasure. You're such a gentleman. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you for the work that you do helping to keep the morale up with our troops. That's you awesome, bet. man. Thank our you for your trip to the party. You betcha. All right, show. One last thing I need for you to do for me before you leave. I'm the big show from World Wrestling Entertainment. I'm the world's largest athlete. And without a doubt, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time. Thank you. The bald eagle should join the hair club for birds. <laughs> you might not be smarter than a fifth grader.